Well, hello there, guys. We're coming at you with an interesting video today. We're actually playing Medieval 2, and I'm playing as Hernan Cortez, the evil, evil Hernan Cortez. Uh, at least hi history would lead you to believe that. And we were actually fighting the Laxacons. These guys were friends of the Spanish against the uh, Aztecs. And, uh, of course, now they're coming out of their city to see if they can save it. But we have, of course, taken the root of gold. We want everything and we're gonna do whatever we can to take it. So we've got some Indian allies, but we're gonna go ahead and charge in here, see if we can just go ahead and take the city for ourselves and get a victory. I mean, this is history in the making, my friends. And we are gonna go charge in. We're gonna just try to slaughter all the Tlaxicans. A lot of them are still hardcore into the fight. Um, Hernan Cortez, in this case, he is just as evil as he was in real life trying to that slaughter the heathens um, and of course we've got our beautiful new Spain swordsman um, and I'm hoping that we can go ahead and slaughter the enemy here um, as you can see they're well painted they're ready for battle um, but our men I think can stand up to the fight even Hernan Cortes himself is fighting a whole group of Indians here and I think we're gonna definitely need these supporters uh, the sword and buckler men to go ahead cut down the Tlaxicans and take this city for ourselves. We've already beaten the Aztecs in this campaign, and I want to see if we can beat the rest of these native people. They have actually brought every single one of their armies to bear against us. We're not going to give up. We're going to go in for the ultimate kill, my friends. And obviously, if you guys want to see some Medieval 2 action, you can ask for it. This is, of course, an expansion to Medieval 2. So if this is something that you find interesting, something that you would like to see more of, let me know. Because at this point, we need to break into the town. We need to break into the city, kill all of the natives. We've already killed a bunch of them, as you can see. But we want to make sure that we get a total victory here. And uh, if that means moving in all of our men to slaughter the enemy here, to gain some gold, they might have it. We're going to go for it. So we're going to go ahead. As you can see right now, we've already killed all of the Luxagons that came out of the city. There's still a bunch over here on the right side that are going to attack us. And we're going to do the same thing to them. Just try to slaughter them with the sword and buckler men. And uh, just win technology alone for Isabella of Spain. And they might not be Aztecs, but it doesn't matter to us. We want that gold. And we're going to do everything we can to get it, my friends. Even if it means slaughtering an entire race of people. There's Hernan Cortez himself, um, of course, leading the charge. And let's see how we do. So at some point, we do probably need to bring in some reinforcements. For now, I'm just going to try to kill the captain's guard of the Tlaxicans. Uh, we don't exactly have... Um, as many men as the enemy do, not even close, but we have the armor, we've got the shields, we've got the native mercenaries, we're going to do everything to kill them. So let's go ahead, fire on the Thloxicon Spearmen with our, with our archers here. And this is definitely old school gaming, this is old school strategy gaming, but I want to get the victory, and uh, don't care how many of the enemy we have to fight. Still got some conquistadors, but the Tlaxiclans are at our back here, and we are going to try to kill them all before we even get into the city. So, I do want to get some guys to go ahead and fight we the enemy here? The enemy yes, we've killed dead. the Tlaxiclan king, or uh, I don't know what they call him in this case, but we're going to do everything we can to just slaughter them all. We'll go ahead, we'll charge the Tlaxiclan warriors with their cavalry. And, of course, our archers, our native archers, are still firing here, trying to get some kills. Let's see if we can't beat them all. And this is, of course, to take the actual capital of the Thloxicons, the biggest enemies of the uh, Aztecs. I think we can do it. I believe me. And there's a lot of them here, too. A lot of Thloxicon warriors. So we're sending in our own native warriors to assist. Um, obviously, Hernan Cortez is in a dangerous situation. But we've got plenty of men to keep fighting this battle. And I think we better go ahead and use them. For victory for Spain! The enemy flees the battle! 
Run down those worthless peasants! I'm pretty sure we've taken the gate. We didn't even need to use um, our glorious uh, siege equipment. We didn't need it. I mean, we're just superior. And um, the enemy are badly at bloody. this point, it's all about they being able to kill them all, men. take their capital, and subjugate them. It's that simple. The Galaxy Clan capital in the tiny campaign I'm playing now. I haven't put the campaign up on our actual channel, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw this battle and uh, got some Medieval 2 action. We're just going to slaughter everything that's here, my friends. Every single last native is ours. And Hernan Cortez will be leading the slaughter. We won't leave a single one alive. Now, this is the... Of course, Hernan Cortez, as you know, I mean, a nasty bastard. <laughs> no way around it. Um, and uh, we want to take everything. So we, we might kill blessed. them all. There the we go. Another dead Lotsiglan general and or hell. chief. And we're going straight for the kill, guys. I think our guys have enough men here. I believe we have taken the actual city walls. And we're going to keep on moving in. We've got more men. We're going straight for the center, guys. Let's move, my friends. Hernan at the front. For gold. For Spain. For monarchy. Of course, we've got some natives, of course, and that didn't help uh, the native people of South America. The fact that there were a lot of native tribes that hated the Aztecs, hated the Tlaxiclans, basically hated any tribe that was willing to subjugate them. Uh, just like the Aztecs, the Tlaxiclans were more than willing to sacrifice for their gods. And in this case, we can paint them as heathens. Whether or not they're heathens, I want you to drop down below. Do you think they're heathens? Do you think it's just a way of life that they've accepted? Doesn't matter. We're going to be slaughtering them all. Uh, it's pretty pretty vicious but our men are more than willing to continue the fight kill every single Bloxiclon in this city and get a victory come on Hernan General. the general himself is all the way here you can see all of those dead bodies all Bloxiclon warriors and of course we've lost men too a lot of our sword and buckler, buckler men like this guy right here they dismounted conquistadores um, they are definitely in a world of hell but if we can take this, it's going to be a lot of gold for our boys. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's head for the center of the town. Let's try to get this victory. We, know, we definitely want to go for the, for the town square here. And that's going to be a big victory. Um, and the town square is right there. So I think we're very close to taking it. I will not leave a single Dlaxaclan alive. And I think our actual victory here is going to be incredible. By the way, I've had a lot of people ask me to do some pike and shot. Or not pike and shot, excuse me, mountain blade videos. I'd love to do them. So if you guys want to see me do some mountain blade videos, just let me know what mod you want me to play. We our definitely have to play a mod to that's worth our time. We're not just going to do vanilla Mountain Blade if we do end up playing it. So make sure to give me, uh, you know, an idea of what you want to see. And of course, as the Spaniards, we're here in Tlaxacan territory with Hernan Cortez. He's right there. He just got a gold star uh, for winning this, or I should say a gold uh, rank, you know, just for winning this battle. There are dead Tlaxiclons everywhere. And these guys were our allies. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. We're going for gold, brothers. We want it all. It's just like Agrippa when he's doing a Vietnam stream. I want it all, my friends. Uh, and we've killed numerous chiefs. We killed, of course, Sitalo Lipskin. And we've killed Captain Tudile. Uh, so I think that if we just hold this area for long enough, we have basically won this battle. Um, and it's going to be pretty much an easy victory. Um, and of course, we'll burn down these pagan buildings. Uh, history will hate us for it, but we're going to gain a lot of gold out of it. So as long as they don't attack us, I'm going to take this victory and put it under my uh, put it under my skin and hope for the best. The great Hernan Cortez, or the vicious Hernan Cortez, however you want to remember him, is going to take this victory. 
Let's hope that no more of them attack us. We had two armies fighting us, and we definitely lost a lot of men. A lot of sword and buckler men. We've got this unit that's only got five left, but they're very strong, and obviously if we reinforce them, they're going to be able to train a lot of new men uh, to fight incredibly well. Um, and if we can stay here and win, hey, that's awesome. So let's go ahead. We're going to speed up time. And that is a victory, my Our friends. End battle. Take a look at the ultimate fight. casualties. So, we took 543 to enemy prisoners. What do you think we're going to do with them with Hernan Cortez? We're going to slaughter every last one of them uh, and take the city for ourselves. We execute them all in the name of God and Queen Isabella. And, of course, we're going to convert the remaining people. I want to take a look at Hernan Cortez's uh, actual, um, you know, well, well, his religious standing after this certainly is going to be even more evil than he was before, but I can't wait to see just how evil he is. And they're still at war with the Aztecs. It's not like we're not fighting two people at once, but initially they were our allies. Now we are just total enemies. So let's take a look at Hernan Cortez. His trade decrease is going to be in the terms of a cruel ruler and look at that his dread is shamelessly takes pleasure in causing pain and suffering that sounds pretty much like hernan cortez to me a great commander eager intelligent can tell a tale fears appreciated brutal conqueror stone-faced and a mean leader the fact is we got a victory i hope you guys enjoyed that battle if you did make sure to let me know in the comments down below subscribe Share your friends this channel, and uh, maybe we'll even do a campaign as the Spanish or maybe even as one of the native tribes. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have an awesome day.